Welcome to Talking Heads, a project of the Africa Centre based in Cape Town. Each week we bring you the experts, mavericks and the thought leaders who are demanding we think differently about who and what it means to be African. I love documentaries. There's something so compelling about watching real life, not in the way reality TV has taken the television world by storm, but watching something carefully curated, a piece of film work that, in the space of a couple of hours, creates a world of people you may never meet, people you'd never heard of, interrogates that world, shows you that we're all human, whether we live in the tundra or whether we've been at war with our neighbors for more generations than we can count. Or maybe it shows you the familiar, puts on screen and on stage the ordinary and everyday. All documentaries, for me, are like moving picture encyclopedias, nuanced with sadness and small joys and wonders, imbued with the stuff of life. In an industry dominated by blockbuster action shoot 'em up movies, how important is it that we cultivate a culture of celebrating, supporting, and consuming documentary cinema? Does it play a role? Is it a valuable part of society? And if so, why? The Encounters South Africa International Documentary Festival is Africa's premier documentary event. It celebrated its 15th edition this year with Lesedi Oluko Moshe as the new festival director. I am Yoandi Omotosho, and today I'm talking with Lesedi Oluko Moshe about the Encounters Documentary Film Festival. Welcome to the show, Lesedi. Thank you very much. What's the importance of documentary making and viewing, especially in a country like South Africa, but also just for the continent? Why does it matter? Well, I think for start, documentary films give us access into communities and societies that we'd never generally get access into. And they give us the visual representation of various communities that one generally doesn't have access to. The other part is also in creating and engaging as a storyteller yourself and viewing your community in the way that other people would see it or in the way that you see it. I think documentary film, more than any other genre, and I mean, it's because I work in the industry, so I'm <laughs> going to say what I'm about to say, but yeah. documentary films, unlike any other genre, I think give a greater access into the reality of the world that we live in. And is that particularly important because of stereotypes about the African continent, ignorance, lack of awareness? Well, I think it's important for two reasons. The one reason is understanding your sense of belonging. I mean, like on the African continent, we've historically always been kind of second tier to the rest of the world. In telling our own stories, it gives us a personal sense of belonging and importance and existence on the world map. And on the other side, it also allows us to be able to speak in our own voices and not always to be spoken about or spoken to. Can you talk a bit about Women Direct? How does this program work? And what's the level of efficacy? Oh, Women Direct, that was my special little project. When I took over from the previous festival director, it was at a time when a lot of international festivals were speaking about the lack of women in the director's chair. There were lots of articles about the lack of women in the director's chair and, you know, getting more women to direct films. And I thought, okay, is it because women don't want to direct films in their numbers or in the numbers that we expect in terms of filling quotas? Or is it that they don't have the opportunity to direct? So I went on a quest of trying to which documentaries have been made within a 15-month period 
that were directed by women. Okay. And I mean, I was pleasantly surprised at the number of documentaries, the varying subject matters of the documentaries. And without getting into marketing of, of films, yeah. um, the Women Direct section was a celebration, not a program that is trying to fill quotas. Or fix something. Yeah, just a celebration of diverse voices. And I could only select five because it was important that the filmmakers in the Women Direct section could come to South Africa and come to the festival and run workshops with young kids from underserved communities. Okay. So that's how that came about. What's your personal relationship to documentaries? For instance, before you became the Encounters Festival director, did you already have a special relationship with film and documentaries? Yes, I did. All of us are walking documentaries. Hmm. Each one of us with our stories, right? Because that's what documentary is, it's real life. And having grown up in so many different societies, the Middle East, on the African continent, in North America, in Europe, and this was all under the age of 18, I always marveled at how different but similar human beings were. In my mind, I was always like, oh, there's got to be a way to, like, tell these stories. And initially, I thought, okay, maybe I should get into writing. And, you know, I'd write my dual plays when I was a kid and get my friends to act them out. Yeah. And I'd be like, no, but this is how it is. This is how it is in Iraq. No, you got to act it like this. So I think, you know, it was an organic process. And after high school, I mean, I wasn't quite sure of, like, which discipline or which genre I wanted to get into. And at the time, like, documentary wasn't what it is today. Yeah. You know, it really wasn't. It was more informative and NGO style. Yes, heavy. Like induction videos. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I worked on documentaries. Um, I worked on Behind the Rainbow with Gina. And I was fortunate enough to work with female documentary directors, um, award-winning directors. And it just felt like home. Yeah. Seeing all these things, being able to access corners of the world that I might not be able to access, but I can see it because there's a film on it reminded me of my childhood. It was like I managed to trap my childhood in a jar and I could open it when I wanted to. <laughs> so that's what got me into documentary. And just before going to Encounters, I produced a late night talk show. And that was also not as much, but you know, 10, 15 minute snippets of people's lives. I'm fascinated and in love with reality and not reality television, but with reality. Let's say you were to make your own documentary, what would it be? Uh, I was to make my own. I've got so many on my computer. I feel like there's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a trick question. You know what? If I was to make my own documentary, I think I'd make a documentary on their culture kids because I think that's the voice that I have. Oh, I haven't seen it might exist, but I've never seen that visually. And mm. I've never seen myself exist visually. You're straddling between self and the multifaceted bases that you hold. Yeah. Um, having parents that come from a particular village, so yeah. you have that. Yeah. You're bombarded actually with Western influence. Yeah. And how you navigate your way through that. So that's what that's what I that's yeah. what I make it. How you negotiate about. that. Sometimes like yeah, a tightrope. I'm sure you have a zillion answers to this question. So it doesn't have to be the best or the most anything. But I wanted you to just share a powerful scene, a scene that really moved you, a scene or something you watched in one of these documentaries that has stayed with you. Oh my goodness, it has to be, without a doubt, Venus in the Venus documentary, where Serena is being interviewed, she's 14 years old, and the interviewer keeps asking her the same question mm. about confidence and why you feel confident, and the father comes and stops her, but she's already answered your question. It was seeing a father, a black father, telling an interviewer that my daughter told you why she's confident. Stop asking her the same question until she starts to doubt her own confidence. So that's the one that stands out for me wow. without a doubt. I've seen the scene. It gave me goosebumps. You're right. Very profound. Yeah. Well, I know this was the inaugural year. I look forward to many more years. Thank you for what you're contributing and the difference it makes to have the Encounters Documentary Film Festival. Thank you for joining me on the show, Lesedi. Thank you so much, Yuande. To find out more about the South Africa Encounters International Documentary Festival and to listen to other podcasts, visit www.talkingheads.org.za.